Hello everybody, Sai Starcraft here with another Starcraft new commentary for you, and you might be thinking, what the hell Sai, you just casted a bunch of Idra games and now you're casting a game where you're not in it again? Yes, random trawler, that is my uh, response to you. But the reason I'm casting this game is because I watched it and it was sick crazy. First of all, it's on Steps of War, and any game on Steps of War, what the heck, any game on Steps of War that lasts longer than like uh, 10 minutes or something, tends to be a pretty good back and forth game. And here we have one of those, hopefully. Uh, this is actually uh, Root Cats versus Dignitas, and it's pronounced Show. He's actually in the same clan or same team as Select, so he must be a good player. At least I, I hope so. And we are seeing him in the top right as the Red Terran Cats. What the heck is going on here? We are seeing four drones moving out from Cats already. He only has ten drones, ten SCVs from Show. And he's already moving four out. Keep in mind, this is a tournament game. Um, what tournament is this from? I don't remember. It is a tournament game, so this is a serious move by uh, by Cats. He's not just screwing off or doing some kind of stupid drone rush. He is moving out with four drones seriously. Oh, he might get he might pick off this SV. Well, that was some weird pushing right there. But he's trying to throw down a barracks, but it's not happening. This barracks uh, close to coming down. Now he's got to use the drone micro, micro to take care of these SCVs. One SCV down. Holy crap, that is not good from Show. He needs to pull off a lot more drones, uh, SCVs than that. Four on four is not a good battle to fight. This barracks actually goes down. I don't believe it was canceled. It might have been canceled. It was very close. Meanwhile, if you look at the production tab, there's no buildings going down from Cats. Right now, he is just stalling with these four drones, causing these SCVs to lose a lot of mining time. Going to try to focus down one more SCV. Oh, nice micro from Show does pull that SCV back so extreme action right from the start here cats with some sick sick micro nice repairing by show however minimizing scv losses so uh units lost right now is that he hasn't really lost four scvs has he no he lost that barracks so he lost 150 from the barracks and just one scv so far but man that barracks is a huge blow 150 minerals this early and he might actually force this barracks to not complete in time as well no that scv does bounce back and uh, finish that barracks we are seeing a fast expansion from Cats in the meantime, but that barracks is actually up. Oh, we have a Swanee Cool going down almost at the same time. So seeing these two placed almost at the exact same time leads me to believe that Cats' uh, uh, macro could have been a little stronger while he was microing these units. He probably had about 500 minerals at once. But he did kill that barracks, and he, he forced a lot of SCVs to be pulled off, and Sho just didn't really know how to respond to it. Bef before he pulled off a ton of SCVs, he only pulled off four. And four SCVs against four drones is actually ex an exactly even fight, assuming the drones don't have time to regenerate more than one or two hit points, because uh, they will each take nine shots to kill. So a fun little fact right there, and we have a, a pretty standard uh, game going on now. I think Cats might be in a small advantage just because he's able to take that expansion. Uh, he killed that Rax. He's able to take the expansion without any kind of bunker play, any bunker harass. Because Show is just, he's baffled. I, I can't imagine being in, in this situation. He probably has no idea what to do right now. And this SCV is in a lot of pain right now. Two more hits and it's going to die. So he's only working at, uh, you know, quarter capacity right now. He's actually doing pretty good. Looks like he's, he's working just as well as any of these guys. I'd be in a bit of pain. What the heck? Okay, that's a transfer. <laughs> I was like, he's going for another drone harass. What? And a roach horn, so maybe we will see a follow-up with some roaches? That is uh, a very keen observation, Sai, because he's getting a roach horn. That's how casters sound smart. Oh, Aspire, we might be seeing some mutas. So, yeah. We're seeing a factory. Hellions, very awesome on this map. I don't know why Hellions are awesome. Maybe it's a short travel distance, but they just seem like they do a lot on this map. I don't know. The thing about Steps of War is the distance is short, everyone knows that, but it it just puts so much pressure on you. You never feel safe as a Zerg player. You feel like something is always like down your throat that you need to like just deal with immediately. Yeah, insert penis joke here. Or there. Heyo. Um it's first Italian coming out. And yeah, it's just a lot of pressure. Tank pushes are extremely dangerous just because like they siege move like two feet and un or uh, unsiege move two feet and siege and they're already at your front door so lots of roaches coming out for cats if we look at the harvester tab 21 to 24 so cats might be going for some kind of very heavy push right here and again caster knowledge man seeing the roaches roaches push out so he might be going for a push oh yeah i'm so intelligent 
But this isn't gonna do much. Five marines and six marines and two hellions is gonna be plenty to stop this, especially once the bunker gets up. Maybe he can kill this supply depot, but he really needs to back off. I, okay, we, well he's got one more roach and two dragons. I still don't see this accomplishing a lot, especially with the SMBs coming into repair. I think he just needs to back off. He's growing up heavy, but he's still gonna try it. And uh, bunker almost complete. He's actually splitting the damage on the marines pretty well. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But continuing to poke up here, take shots at those SCVs, a couple marines shooting away, Hellions here, producing more marines, the production tab, we are seeing a Banshee and Cloak, and there we go, there's the heavy drone that I was expecting, so Kat, um, realizing this is just kind of a harassment push, forcing Sho to just be a little disorganized, and maybe build some stuff he doesn't want to build, and okay, this is great too, Sho realizes that Kat is just doing this to test the water, uh, harass a bit, and not really end the game, and so he's actually throwing down a command center. So this is a very high level play. He realizes that you know he has to keep up macro wise because that's exactly what Katz is doing right now, pumping out a lot of drones. Now 31 to 27, he has taken the lead in the harvest account. Nice micro here too. You always want to move the, the weak rope to the back. Oh, he might kill his factory. Lift up, his factory! Ah! 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 Are you kidding me? You're terrible! What are you doing? <laughs> he just lost a factory that can fly, you know. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? I guess he just really wanted to throw that wall in, but man, you lost your factory. It was obvious it was gonna die. This Banshee will be able to clean up, but he's gonna lose a lot of SCVs now. That weak SCV that was fighting so well. Don't die, SCV! Oh, he might survive! Don't die! Don't die. Oh no! <laughs> SCV! <laughs> oh. Catch is in a huge lead right now though. 19 to 37. Man, this Rocher has turned from nothing into something awesome. Show really should have pulled more SCVs or at least lifted off that factory, man. What the heck was that? And now he's got he does have cloak, so that's very does he even have a lair? Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, oh wow, he's prepared for those banshees, man. He must have thrown that on that Evo chamber right when that banshee came out because he knew his lair would be delayed. Are we seeing any extra queens? Yeah, we do have an extra queen here. So he's going to be just fine. And these spores are just going to solidify his lead. So it's going to be very difficult for Joe to come back in it. Another a spine crawler going up right there. So maybe a little too much macro coming from Cats. He's got some nice positioning of the Overlord. And now we have an Overseer. Cancel the spine crawler! Oh, come on, kill it. There you go. There you go. That's 150 minerals right there, man. Got to cancel your buildings because they're going to die. Overseer now out. And this queen's actually going to die unless it retreats to the control crawler. Yep, there it goes. And the overseer is out. This banshee isn't going to do much more um, after that. So once the spire comes out and uh, cats gets map full, such a huge harvester lead. I don't, I don't know how Sho can do anything about this, man. That four drone harass was awesome. Followed up by a roach harass. That was just crazy. That had me, that had me giggling on the inside. Bunker, kind of used to start here. He's going to want to salvage that and place another one out here. Just because, you know, if, if the roaches get up here, they're probably going to be uh, killing this and you're going to lose the game anyway. So salvage the bunker, make use of that extra mineral. You know, some roaches coming out, lots of queens. He's going to be just fine in holding this. These marines are doing a lot more than they should. Can you just out with the roaches? Prevent them from killing the overlord. Queens killing the spanty. Nice transfusion on that queen. The nice thing about having more than two queens is one of them is always going to have tons of energy for transfusion. Although he does have a lot of money here and he has supply blocked himself. But the reason a Zerg player might have a lot of money at one point in the game is because he is saving up for a spire, a mass returning of Nautilus. So once uh, he realizes he's supply blocked, come on, Cap, you newbie. Now he's getting to overload. Wow, that's. Man, this is kind of clumsy. Nice. Roach push. I'd love to see him go back into the main here. Uh, nope, he's just gonna decide I don't want to do any of that. I just want to run around and inside of the bunker and get all my roaches shot. Um, he does kill the bunker. A couple more roaches reinforcing. Four meters coming out as you can see. There's a medevac. Oh, roach speed kicking in. I think it just now kicked in. Four mules at the expansion. Oh, one mule goes down. Two mules go down. Three. I think all four of the mules died if they were even four to begin with. Here come the mule. That's nothing to attack air. Wow, if I didn't see the timer on this video, I would think he would GG right now, but unfortunately I do, and I just spoil it a little bit for those of you who are playing in full screen and cannot see the timing of this video. Now busting down the rocks here. Uh, Harvester count still heavy, heavy in, in uh, Cat's favor. I don't see how he has been about twice the Harvester count. Well, not anymore. 
twice the harvester count as show almost the entire game and still hasn't done some kind of push to win. I mean, yeah, you wanna you wanna play safe and nurse your advantage and not like get too hasty, but I mean, come on, Rakura even knows it's over. <laughs> Not even mining off of this expansion. At least he gets the mules. Maybe he'll throw those down at the main. I'm not seeing any going down. Zerglings without speed and Muta's gonna try to finish off the main. Hey, lift off! That's a command that Terran buildings can do, right, Factory? Ah. Lots of Zerglings, lots of Mutas. What's he got right now? 34 Zerglings, 10 Mutas against <laughs> five Marines and four Marauders. Move in, cats! What are you doing? Oh my God! He does have speed now. But he's just gonna run back. He's doing the side thing. Remember when I used to uh, have a huge advantage and then the enemy would have like two units and I wouldn't push up? That's what Katz is doing right now. And you could even just send like one or two Zerglings up there and, and know if you're gonna win or not. But instead he's going to break down these rocks, take an expansion, get 70 Ultralisks, and then win the game that way. I do approve of that strategy though. I like it. Seeing a bailing nest, stim pack plus one, plus one for his mutas. We have a four. Ooh. So let's uh, let's just kind of recap what happened in this game while we wait for it to close out because I'm assuming machine is just going to face melt him pretty soon here. So we had that four drone push, which uh, was more effective than it should have been. Should have been. He should have pulled six or seven SCDs because four drones for Zerg is so much early on. And he lost his racks, and that was just, that was huge. He didn't cancel it, and he, I think he figured if he canceled it, he'd be way far behind, but he might as well cancel it. I mean, it's gonna die. <laughs> Common sense. And then uh, the follow-up Roach Push was very strong. He really needed to repair it a little bit more here, and, and do a little scouting. I don't know, maybe blow a scan or something, see the Roaches coming, because Roaches on this map are so effective, especially if you kind of transition into, like, the 7 Roach Push, only, like, with the expansion, and then that quick Roach Warren. It's not quite the same. But he got Hellions, and Hellions don't do squat against Roaches. He got Marines. Marines aren't that good against Roaches. His bunker was too far back, and the Roaches did way too much damage because they were able to get past that factory. So all of that is just kind of turning into a dominant late game for Machine. If we look at the unit tab, he's even expanding once more right here. He did transfer to his uh, natural, going or to the high yield, going heavy on the gas at this point. 76 Zerglings. Where are they all going? Oh, they're turning into Banelings. <laughs> I was like, there's no fighting. Where are those Zerglings going? 16 Mutas, 6 Roaches, Army Tab. Oh my gosh, that is just painful. 85 to 161. Huge, huge Army Differential. Oh, come on, Cats. Just win the game. He just wants to like go in and blow up. Okay, there we go. So this should be the game ender right here. So many Banelings. Not really any ring to kill with him, however. He doesn't even match across with the Mutas because he doesn't need to. This Thor is like, dude, F you guys, I'm chilling up here. Oh, never mind, now he's gonna And this is just chaos, man. This is chaos. He can just, like, have the wings in a line of three and still take out the Thor, but I think this game was fun just because of that Thor drone rush. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, always, as always, uh, leave me feedback, you know, camera work that needs work, or if I'm saying the same thing over and over, or what you want. I know you want to see more side games, but that was fun. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and, um, uh, my microphone is resting on a cat stuffed animal, like a little beanie thing, beanie cat. I tried it on my own cat, but he moved. <laughs>